Hello, my lovelies. Happy holidays. I want to wish every single one of you guys the best of the holidays. Uh, Scorpio, how are you doing? This message is going to be for you. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of December 2020. Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. The first card here is the Emperor card. The Devil card. Wow. Very strong energy here. Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Wow. Okay. All right. Scorpio. You're starting off the month um, really being inspired, being very focused. Uh, the Emperor is all to do with... Um, stability it's all to do with you know being the master of your own castle um i see you guys planning i see you guys making plans for the future for some of you guys uh this could be almost like wanting to go towards a goal some type of attainment that you're trying to make happen um i see you guys very empowered the Emperor also speaks about structure. So for some of you guys, you may be on a mission or you may be really wanting to uh, make plans in regards to in regards to your living. Uh, so for some of you guys, it could be like wanting to uh, invest. For others of you, this could be uh, making... Uh, Restricting yourself is what I'm hearing. Restricting yourself for a better cause or for a higher cause. So for some of you guys, it could be like saving. Uh, it could be that you're looking to purchase your first uh, your first house, your first home. Uh, it could be wanting to purchase a car. And you are trying to be more mindful about your spending in order to be able to save. Um, now with the devil card here, I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're like you're so determined and you're so focused um into creating some type of stability or into creating the life that you want uh what they're showing me here they're also saying with the emperor card here and the devil card i feel that for a lot of you guys you're closing a cycle right now where you may find yourself pulling away from people that are very toxic or that have been very toxic in your life whether this was through partnerships, whether this was family members, relatives, people around you, co-workers, I feel you like saying, you know what, I'm looking for structure, I'm looking for peace in my life, and you are really like proactively detaching yourself from attachments that are very toxic. Uh, the devil card is all to do with, you know, it's all to do with toxic traits, toxic behaviors. For some of you guys, this could even be like acknowledging that there are certain, um, there are certain things that you do when we're talking about relationships here with the Three of Cups where you kind of self-sabotage yourself. And it's almost like you're coming to this understanding and you're like, I am no longer going to do that. For some of you guys, this could be that you have a tendency when we're talking about partnerships of overdoing uh, you have a tendency of, you know, for some of you guys, it could be like overgiving. This could be uh, overgiving, overcompensating, um, even wanting to protect or wanting to provide for your partner. And throughout this process, it's like I, I see you guys getting to the point of saying, you know what, this is toxic. This is toxic behavior because it often leaves me feeling like they're taking advantage of me or like they're taking advantage of my love or devotion towards them uh it's almost like you're coming into balance scorpio and you're acknowledging and understanding certain behaviors that you've done in the past where now it's like i'm not going to be entertaining that or i'm not going to be you know over giving over self-sacrificing in relationships if it's not a 50 50 situation i'm pulling myself out i'm not dealing with none of that nonsense anymore and with the three of cups this is really um, this is a really like, uh, I want to say it's almost like a realization that you're going to be coming into throughout the month of December, uh, Scorpio. And this could be almost like a realization of understanding why you have a tendency of attracting certain type of individuals. Um, now for others of you, this could be, uh, cutting the ties from 
uh, it could be an Aries that you're dealing with, it could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with, it could be another water energy, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio like yourself, or Earth energy as well, Taurus or Virgo. But I feel that you're definitely like, you're pulling your energy back. And it's like, I am not going to entertain whatever is not working for me anymore. Um, and for some of you guys, it could have been that you were dealing with an individual that perhaps has certain type of addictions, whether it be drugs, whether it be it alcoholism, anything like that. I feel that you're like, I'm not, I'm not excusing their behavior anymore. I'm not doing, I'm not doing this anymore is what I'm hearing. Um, so I definitely see you guys cutting ties with anything that has to do with toxic people, toxic individuals, circumstances, and situations. Um, keep in mind, we do have, you know, um, Pluto return, uh, which really connects us with the subconscious and uh, that which, you know, is our darkest or more deeper um, desires that are suppressed in our subconscious. So again, I feel that there is like this purging of energy where you're realizing certain things or certain um, errors or missteps that you've done in the past when we're talking about relationships, but you're acknowledging it and you're no longer willing to entertain that. So I definitely see you guys becoming more balanced. I see you guys really pouring all that self-love into yourself, healing yourself through this process. Now, for others of you, like I said, if you pulled away from an individual that was very toxic, they could have been manipulative. They could have been, like I said, they could have had some type of addiction. Um, I see them reaching out and wanting to communicate with you again. Um, the desire is there to contact you again to see if you allow them to come into your life again. But what they're telling you here is, again, if that came to a conclusion, don't longer entertain things from the past. I feel that for some of you guys, this could have been a situation where you waited for a very long time to hear from this person. And finally, that communication comes through. But what, the, what Spirit is telling you is don't entertain that. You're growing. Um, you're growing. You're becoming much more wiser about what you want in your life and what you're not willing to deal with anymore. You don't want to invite old energies that are going to set you back or take you back to a situation where you felt very unhappy or you felt like you didn't have control over the situation. Now we're going to be pulling out a specific message here for you guys. Uh, Spirit, what is the direct message you want to share with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to this uh, situation and circumstance, spirits? What is the direct message you have? What is the direct message you have in regards to this situation for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. And we have stop talking. In the back, it says, shut your mouth and listen. All right. So I feel that what they're telling you here is if you are dealing with a situation where a person from the past is coming back around, it was very toxic for you. Stop overanalyzing or talking to yourself, like trying to convince yourself that they've changed or trying to convince yourself that maybe they're being honest this time. What Spirit is telling you, stop overdoing it. Stop talking if you are literally communicating with them. Um, shut your mouth and listen. I feel that Spirit is telling you, listen, pay attention to the red flags we're showing you. Pay attention uh, to your intuition. You're being guided right now. Uh, you're going into a cycle in your life where there's a lot of transformative type of energy and there's more stability coming through for you. You're coming in more balanced. You don't want people from your past, you know, again, all that work that you've done or everything that you have gone through, you don't want to get to a point of backtracking. You know, it's about moving forward. So again, don't entertain those that have harmed you, that have let you down or that have used or abused you in any shape, way, or form. Listen to your intuition. Pay attention to those flags, Scorpio. Okay? All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight. And happy holidays. I wish you guys the very best. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.